I mean, number one, I guess the first thing to say is hi. Number two, the thing on my forehead, I had a chemical peel and I was in front of a very, very sexy man. And I was peeling like a snake, so I scrubbed it off. And in the meantime, I gave myself a little bit of an injury. Um, hi, my name's Rachel Metz. If you don't know who I am, thanks for tuning in. Vlogs are insanely new to me. I think I've attempted them just here and there before. And the reason that I would like to make vlogs is because of how dark I went last year, meaning like I ghosted every now and again and just kind of went into the darkness of just not saying anything when a project would go wrong or if I just wasn't feeling up to it. And I would definitely narrate it over whatever video I was putting out, but again, that video wasn't really one I wanted to be putting out. I'm not going to apologize for the break that I took. I do want to let you in on the biggest DIY, which is honestly my life, like the community that I'm meeting out here and building or the people that I've gained connections with and had to cut off too like I don't think people talk about the DIY of life and it's ironic because my channel is called living to DIY so we're kicking it off on a Tuesday I showed you a little clip from Monday but... all right so what is happening today it is Monday we are kicking it off the week with um, a very I have a boyfriend yeah I got a boyfriend so uh, my boyfriend left that's a weird that's a weird statement. Well, little fun fact for you. Since we've last seen each other, I actually have added my first team member to Living to DIY with Rachel Metz, and that is Miss Allie. So she comes three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Eventually, she will be full-time. Even though she's only been with me two weeks, it, it is really cool how much we're driving, and it just really feels like we're just like moving and grooving in a really solid way. So I'm just gonna be open and honest with you guys on these vlogs because I'm a first-time like boss. I'm a first-time employer. Like I've had a company, I have been my own employee, but to bring someone onto the team officially and like know they live right near me, this is their job, I am now responsible for them, has been such a cool inspiration and motivation to get my shit really together. I always get kind of the same flowers and then I will go find roses at different floral marts throughout the desert. These guys are new. I'm very excited about them. The Renaculas I've been getting the last two weeks and then I always get these guys, I forget what they're called, and then a bunch of eucalyptus for my shower that I hang upside down. I'll also end up mixing some of these with the eucalyptus because I just like feeling like I'm, you know, showering in a garden. And I am a huge fan of lilies that I actually bought a bunch of seeds to plant. And if you want your lilies to last long, pull those little thingies off. Fun fact, a subscriber told me that. And this pollen doesn't get everywhere. Flowers are done. I'm moving on to just having a little bit of an early day today. I'm going to make a really lovely lunch. But say hi to Allie. She's over there organizing my footage from like pre-breakup of Paul. So I'm like, can you go through my phone and just pull good DIY photos? I don't want to look at it because <laughs> there's just uh, my old life. Oh, my people. You're probably like, where in the world is Rachel San Diego? Fun little fact for you, I am working over at Nowhere, California. It is truly an incredible place, and I'm going to be doing a couple of makeovers, hence why this vlog is popping in. It's kind of just giving you a look into my life of what's going on and how things are redirecting. But here we are Tuesday, a little bit more rejuvenated. We're back, baby. I said that about 575,000 times last year. We're back, baby. But it's all to say, all good things come to those who wait. And I waited all year to figure out what I was going to do with my channel. And I am really happy I am not one of those content creators that pushes through that funk. But unfortunately, YouTube does not like content creators that take a pause because you pushed out the algorithm. And just everything kind of shifts for you if you don't continue to feed the incredible beast. But it's just how the name of the game works so bear with me as i try to rebrand and stay consistent and kind of annoyingly show up right now and i genuinely am so excited to introduce you more intimately to my pack someone recently said that they believe human connection is the most important thing on earth like the community that you build and I do believe in that too. And if I have a community online, how am I not merging it with my community in real life so you guys could feel an even greater sense of human connection because I can't hug and meet everybody in real life quite yet. So here's my way of trying to give a bigger hug, squeeze you a little bit more and just bring you in more in depth into giving you a front row seat to the biggest DIY of all time, which is your life. Anywho, that's my spiel. Let's scoot to this now. 
Anytime I have my friends come out to the desert, I always say come a night earlier, and that's because you tend to sleep a lot the first day that you get here. I don't know if it has to do with decompressing the quiet and the stillness out here, but nine times out of 10, it is always a thing. So right here, you see me kind of working through while my friend Jess is asleep and Lindsay is driving in. And it's so funny because I'm whispering, but then we're moving to like demo dumpster moving. And the reason that I'm able to do that is because a little unknown fact about our group, like my pack is we can honestly sleep through anything. So I will work and work and work not so quietly until all my ladies are up moving and grooving. I can't believe I wasn't recording this. I just reached down and grabbed an angle grinding blade and grabbed a baby sidewinder. That freaked me out. Oh, I touched it. I like full blown grabbed it. Now we're going to take a quick break so I can tell you more about today's sponsor, HelloFresh. If you guys have been following me, you may or may not know that I work with HelloFresh every single month, and that's truly because I am such a fan. One of the main reasons I am a fan is that HelloFresh's recipes feature produce that goes from the farm to your front door in under a week, which means their spring menu features their season's freshest flavors. You have different options for adding, swapping, or upgrading proteins each week, plus you have so much flexibility, for example, adding a protein to a veggie dish, or even just swapping over to veggie only. It's totally up to you. Something that I truly love when I wasn't a fan of cooking in the beginning was HelloFresh's step-by-step -step recipes that are super easy to follow with pre-portioned ingredients that honestly help me cut out prep time so I can have time to get outside this spring and get to building. A little fun fact for you as well, HelloFresh cuts down on your food waste by at least 25% compared to the grocery store shopping according to a HelloFresh global food waste study. If you guys want to join the HelloFresh family or check them out and try them out, you can actually go to HelloFresh.com and use code MET16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. You heard that right. You can go to HelloFresh.com and use my code MET16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. Thank you so much to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's episode. Let's just dive right back into this desert life of mine. Whoa, 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 whoa. Somebody tell me how I just slept in. So something I've learned in my old age is if I fall asleep at midnight, I for sure am gonna wake up at eight. So yesterday I was like, oh, I'm gonna, you know, pull a little bit of an all-nighter and clean my house and blah, blah, blah. And then I fall asleep at midnight, wanted to wake up at four, and here it is, 8 a.m. But for the most part, the wind is so nuts, we're gonna make it an office cleaning the house day. Okay, this is gonna sound a little weird, but something that a lot of my single friends home owning single friends specifically and I talk a fair amount about is how awkwardly lonely and kind of hard it is to be single please bear with me hard is not the word let's use two percent during me like doing dishes in the morning and making myself coffee it has quickly become a part of my routine and something that I want to pop in that like newly in a relationship Rachel is really appreciating that I didn't get in my last relationship was uh, I walked in and this and this hunk of a man was taking out the trash and I didn't ask him like he just took it out because it was full and he knew I it would be helpful and so he did it and I don't think I've ever been more turned on and that is so weird but it's really nice to have a partner and someone that just exists with you and helps you out and helps you through. And I didn't realize how much I was really missing that as I'm transitioning from like single Rachel to in a relationship Rachel again. It's It's been very interesting to say the least. One thing that I can take credit for is definitely the plants that are thriving within these pots. The other thing I cannot take credit for is Mr. Ben Ueda from Homemade Moderns, CNC and DIY friendly version of these stackable planners that you see me watering. I mean, I wish I had a tutorial and a brain such as that, but no, you can find that all over at Homemade Modern. I also love having a plant wall because it's kind of a subtle flex. Like, yeah, my plants are thriving, so am I. Uh, and also, also, let's add another also, also, also onto it. I really have it for Miss Woodbrain because she's my best friend and she loves plants. And uh, I love when she comes out and she takes care of them. And I love when she's proud of me because I'm taking care of them. So there's a little fun fact for you. Okay, people, I'm talking quiet because Jess is sleeping in the other room and I don't want to wake her up quite yet. I'm going to get started cleaning up my mess that I did a couple days ago, but the wind totally derailed. Uh, that's how windy it is. You normally can see the mountains. It's completely blown away with sand. Anywho, let's just start cleaning up some trash in this non-wind wind. wind. 
Now listen, when a project goes quote unquote wrong, and when I say wrong, that means like maybe my Home Depot ran out of ultralight drywall for the first time in two years when you were gonna drywall that day, or maybe a sponsor came in and said that they would love to gift you something for a makeover, but it's not coming for a couple of months. I try to not like sit back and twiddle my thumbs. I try to start other projects that are going to be future makeovers and future episodes and kind of do whatever I can in the meantime. And I think that's why I went dark so often last year is because things just weren't working out or lining up. And so I didn't have any completed thoughts. I truly try to never let a day go to waste when it has to get redirected, even though I am human and I love me a nap day. Today just wasn't those days. I was really trying to not have that day. Question, how long did we just hunt for a breakfast burrito? Easily an hour and a half. <laughs> Can I have fun? A minute. Fun fact, it's nowhere to be found, so now we need to make it. So that's a DIY that we are about to do. Something that you guys should do if you don't is season your bacon. I have like this chili bacon from Stater Bros, and then I just go in and add fresh ground pepper, a little brown sugar, and salt. Miss Woodbrain has had one breakfast burrito out here in the desert and has talked about it in obsessive detail to basically anybody that will listen since then. We just have flour tortillas and I like to put two in one pan with a little bit of butter and then flip them so only one side gets a little crispy and the inside just stays a little soft. And then crispy, crispy, crispy hash browns, pork chorizo, and then refried beans. And I thought these were eggs, but I put way too much cheese. So it's basically just cheese. It has been my mission to create the perfect breakfast burrito so she can have it every single time because apparently when I want to get the one from the taco truck that she likes, that taco truck is never there and then I don't know it's scheduled and it changes and it's just like little mini soap opera that's happening. Oh my God, I'm a genius. I'm a genius! We have even gotten to the point of actually competing to make breakfast burritos against each other to see who can do better, but we will save that for another time. One, okay, we are officially now moving on from the breakfast burrito debacle from this morning to working on the trailer with my girls. We are going to divide and conquer, potentially. A little fun fact, the jacuzzi that I ordered over a year ago was delivered. That was on hold because your girl had to redo her electrical, which was the most crazy investment I've ever had to do. At the end of the day, the electrical company didn't install the breaker for the jacuzzi, so then it took an extra six months. Now the jacuzzi is here, it was delivered, the strap is broken, a windstorm happened, and now there's sand in the jacuzzi that I have yet to still use after a year and a half of basically owning it. So for me, it's more so assessing the game plan of the electrical, which you will see, and just tidying up a few things so we could just move on to phase two, which is really just drywall and design. So let's get to work shall we little fun fact for you i have a bit of a murder mystery happening at my house and i kind of feel like a murderer and i'm really not trying to be but this nook over here has quickly become where birds go to die they fly directly into this window they basically give themselves a head injury and then feathers just explode everywhere there's dead bodies on the floor oh there's one stuck on the floor right there too what did i do this is supposed to be on if you weren't here for my episode two weeks ago, we are getting more consistent, I promise. But if you weren't here for the episode two weeks ago, you wouldn't know that I cut a 12 foot opening to make some custom pocket doors for my trailer that will be like my house that I live in while I flip the three bedroom house that is the main house on my property. Now, what's really fun about that is uh, after I had that opening, my ladies came out and saw all my progress and then we decided to jump on a couple other projects since it wasn't really going our way with the trailer. We decided to focus elsewhere and what better than to do demo with your broads. So Lindsay's over here demoing this guy because we got this guy to work, which is exciting. And then Jess is on the opposite side of this building. There has never been a demo, a demolition that I've met that I didn't like. So it's really fun taking away some structures on my property that I do not need for future makeovers with my broad. I always say, and if you don't know me, I live with a little bit of element of danger to everything that I do, however, I don't like it when that danger includes almost hitting one of my best friends with her running in front of the structure that was coming down that she thought I needed help demoing. That was just not okay. <laughs> that stressed me out so severely. This says Kathy's Stairway to the Stars. So I want to do a stargazing lounge, but over there where the jacuzzi is. Why did you 
right in front of that. Oh my God, you just, what is happening? I'm not done on video. There is something to say, like, when I'm demoing these small sheds, I. I don't want to be like, oh my gosh, please remember, but it's like I have five acres of land. So when you see me demoing these small structures or completely just changing the structure that is already there, that is because I want to see what I can do with that. But I am actually more interested in building, but that's not going to happen until I flip this property. So taking down that structure is going to make sense for a future makeover. Um, I have a storage shed two other places currently, but I think some people get a little bit wary when I start to knock down the structures because people are like what are you doing but I do want to remind you that I really am interested in actually building from the ground up versus always doing these flips I just want to get through these flips to get to the building you can't see but structure's gone and it's 6 30 and it looks super dark dump piles there just that light right there, she's measuring for plumbing for me tomorrow and Miss Woodbrain is checking the party pad jacuzzi. Day two just left and there's a windstorm and we just fixed the, no, stay, oh my God, Blaze, you got Blaze. Jesus, oh my God. <laughs> the wind is so crazy. You can typically see the mountains and again, you can see the sandstorm because now you cannot see the sky. No way, the wind is... <laughs> it's a little windy out there, right? <laughs> just a little. I mean, I'm really trying not to stress out the fact that I think I broke this no light behind me, but uh, yeah. Other than that, I'm gonna take off. I'm gonna get back to the projects at hand to give you guys some makeovers. I hope this gave you a little bit of insight as to what is going on in my life, what projects are going on when the one that I wanna show you isn't working. And just to have you guys get to know this little desert community that uh, I'm becoming a part of and that is growing in my corner and new friends and family members, which is very, very exciting. So, um, you know, until the next one, guys, I just hit my head so hard with my little light ring. Oh, I hope I didn't break that light. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm.